high level Capricorn, you're feeling, I feel like you are holding back, but not wanting to, not because you're afraid. You're very stable, emotionally stable within yourself. Okay. You have this balance within yourself, but the, it's as if the motivation isn't there. Maybe there's a little fear. You're letting fear drive you a little bit. Uh, but there's this underlying tone and this churning of wanting to do something with respect to your love life. Okay. Now in your, in the recent past, we have the lovers or the two of cups reversed. So something may have happened in a relationship uh, where there's, you're feeling disconnected. Okay. Maybe a relationship kind of ended, but not fully ended. Okay. Uh, fight or disagreement. And now that you're feeling disconnected from your partner and you're not really sure what to do because maybe you're feeling it's their fault or there was a fight and you need to apologize, but you also feel like you were in the right and they're not showing any sort of willingness to come forward. So you want to, but you're holding back. Okay. Your primary card. <laughs> I love this card. Your primary card for March Capricorns is the page of pentacles. Now this is epically you, epically you. Okay. And I'll talk about why earth signs in general, very social, very active, very available. Um, you know, you, you have no problem getting into relationship, into relationships, but in order for you to feel fully safe and fully open and fully accepting of the emotions that takes you a while. Okay. You can be present and happy and spend a lot of time with someone, but you may not be fully emotionally invested in them for a long time. Okay. Capricorns, especially now, the reason why I say this card is epically you is because you're so practical. Okay. You work in you you run your life in terms of tangibility. Okay. How can I get this job done? How hard do I have to work to reach this goal? How, uh, tell me what you need done and I will do it perfectly. I will execute it perfectly no matter how long it takes. Okay. It's always this step-by-step -step progression of instruction and doing and then leading. And you're always working towards a goal. Okay. There's this tangible aspect to everything that you do. Emotionally though, it's a different story. So what I love about this page of pentacles, pages bring messages. Okay. You're not bringing full messages of love. You may want to. Somebody may be bringing them to you, but you're not sure yet. Okay. You are literally testing the waters of emotions with this love, with this relationship right now, long-term or not new relationship or not. You're testing, not testing them. You're testing how you feel. You're testing the reality of how you feel, dipping it in, pulling back, dipping it in, pulling back. You may want to profess love to somebody, but you're not ready yet. You're still testing your emotions out. They may be professing love to you, bringing forth messages to you, strong messages. Maybe you're involved with the water sign and they're all feelings and bringing forth love. You're not sure yet. Test it, wait, test it, wait. Okay. I love this card. And that's the, that, this is the root of your March. Okay. In the meantime, for pentacles, you're holding on to your emotions, obviously. Okay. You're keeping them close to you. You're experimenting with them internally, but no one else sees it. Okay. And you want it that way. And that is okay. Crowning your March is the nine of pentacles reversed. So you're getting to the point Capricorn, whether you're continuing on with a current partner or in a new relationship and maybe wanting to expand the feelings a little bit, you're getting to the point now where you feel you're still testing. Okay. But you're getting to the point where you are accepting that there may be an actual real relationship here. Okay. Or that you're accepting the fact that you want a real relationship or accepting the fact that you've been married for some time now and you truly, really, 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 love your partner 
Because the Nine of Pentacles is safe and secure in all aspects of life except emotions. She likes being alone, he or she. She likes not the single life, but she likes her own lifestyle that he or she built for themselves, surrounding in com material comfort, okay? And no one can come and mess up her game because he or she is just on a roll, building, 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 okay? But reversed, yes, but alone and not liking it and accepting the fact that maybe you don't want to be alone. Future, near future, Ten of Wands reverse. So you may be lightening workload to be more open to love. There's this, there's this knowing now I'm sensing with you, Capricorn, that you, there's this understanding of your own capability. And there's this understanding that there may be a whole world of emotions underneath you and within you that you haven't experimented with or tested yet. And you're thinking actually it might be time, okay? How you're viewing the relationship, again, Queen of Cups, okay? Now again, you might be involved with the water sign, but you may be really feeling something for somebody and you're really <laughs> afraid to jump in. Okay, so you're just taking that little pinnacle practicality that you have and just dipping it in, okay? But what's churning deep inside of your bosom, Capricorns, is this whole world of emotions that you're not used to. And it is scary, okay? But accept it because the Queen of Cups is the most loving, generous, in tune, okay? She's in tune with her emotions. I mean, look at her, okay? Feet in the water, hand in the water. She's touching the water. She's in touch with her emotions. And hands, feet, and brow, holding her emotions up to her brow, it, is, it consumes her whole being. And on top of it, she's under the moon. And the moon, is, the moon card is the card of Pisces, which is all feeling and all understanding of emotions extreme intuition about how you feel so this is how you're feeling but you're not really ready to accept it yet but you're getting there now how your partner is viewing the relationship and you is temperance now obviously this means that she, uh, with respect to what i have said about your you and your reading thus far walking away from the water but taking some of it with you and keeping it in balance because that's what you do right capricorns you're very in balance especially with your emotions and it's because you keep them you keep them away from you okay you're maybe actually starting to accept that you have uh real deep love emotions inside of you and you're walking with them now you're not taking the whole ocean with you because you can't you're not ready for that but you're taking some with you hopes and fears page of swords hopes in terms of hopes and fears this is a card of communication and clarity and study and analysis. So you're, you're still touching the surface a little bit with respect to your emotions and you're keeping your emotions in check by keep, it's a head or a heart type of thing with you, okay? You're feeling them, but are you really, let's really do some analysis and think about this, okay? Now, your outcome card is the Ace of Wands. And this is the card of power and lust and energy and freedom, okay? And brand new sensual beginnings, okay? So it's as if Capricorn in March, in early March, you have this want, you're ready to start opening up, okay? You're considering it and you're considering really letting somebody in and something happened that caused you to want this. If you have a current partner, they said something or they did something that caused you to reflect and think and start actually really sh realizing that you have deep feelings for them. If you're not, this is because you, if that didn't happen with, or if you're not with a current partner, this means that you have realized that you want love in your life because currently it's not there. And you're really starting to experiment with your own emotions and realize that it's, 
that is something that you definitely want. All right, Capricorns, let's pull some clarifiers, or not clarifiers, high level overview cards. Spirit in the universe, what are the overall messages that you have for Capricorns with respect to this reading? Pentacles all around, Capricorn. Four of Cups reversed, you're not apathetic anymore to love, to your partner, okay? Maybe you were, maybe you have been apathetic to love, uh, but you're not, you're ready to let it in. And when you do, you're, you're now viewing this as something that has great potential, at least in terms of love. Maybe you're with somebody that you see has great potential for a long-term partnership. And if you're not with somebody, you definitely see love as the conduit to have this, which is true happiness, right? Material stability, emotional love, family, and surrounded by loved ones. And the Knight of Pentacles reversed. The Knight of Pentacles is very slow moving. He brings actions and messages to make something happen, but he does so in a very slow way, methodical, practical. And you may not be wanting to be so practical anymore. That's what this general feeling is. You may actually want to really start sharing love and being love. And this may all be coming about because of the Pisces eclipse that happened in end, end of February that we're still feeling, slightly feeling the effects of. Plus, Venus is retrograde and that brings, brings back feelings, okay? to old relationships, old people, old partners, old conversations, and it helps us reflect. 